In Microsoft Teams, there are basically three levels of membership for individuals who are part of a team. They are either owners, members, or if they're not part of our organization, ECSD, then they are guests. Let's take a look at membership uh, permissions. So first of all, to see who's a member, who's a guest, and who's an owner, I can simply hover over my team name and click on the three dots, the more options menu, and click manage team. Let's just expand the members and guests. Here I can see the breakdown. I currently have one owner and that is myself. And I have two guests that I've manually added, Danny Moss and John Ned. Remember that here I can add more members but I can also change the role of individuals. So if I wanted Danny to also be an owner of this team, I could just simply click on this drop down arrow next to member and change his status to owner. Now let's actually go to settings here in the top tabs and take a look at member permissions. So notice that members, can do quite a bit in the team if you choose to let them. Right now, all these boxes are checked off. So that means they can create and update channels, delete and restore channels, add and remove apps, create, update and remove tabs, create, update and remove connectors. Notice that owners can delete all messages. That's one of the main differences between owners and members is that owners have more power for deleting messages and delete teams. However, you can give members the option to delete their messages or give members the option to edit their messages. So if I am running a team for professional development, I might want to be in more control over this team. So I might not want to allow them to create channels or delete and restore channels. Uh, same thing with adding and removing apps and creating update and removing connectors. Okay. The rest I will leave active. Notice that there are also settings for the general channel. Anyone can post messages. Anyone can post, show alert that posting will notify everyone, or only owners can post messages. So in this case, I want everyone to be able to collaborate in this team, so I'm gonna leave it set to anyone can post messages. Let's just take a quick look at guest permissions. Guests have far fewer permissions because they are not part of the organization. Notice that by default, they are not allowed to create and update channels and they're not allowed to delete channels. So in this case, I'm going to leave both of those off because I turned those off for my members just to ensure that owners were the ones in full control of the team. Let's just go back to members. And again, you can change an individual status or role at any time just by simply clicking that drop down arrow and again, you can choose whether they are an owner or a member. Guests are individuals who are part of our team, but outside of the ECSD organization. Please note that you can always remove a member or a guest from a team, um, as well as an owner. So to remove someone from a team, simply make sure that you are in the Manage Team window and again, you can access the Manage Team window by clicking on the three dots to the right of the name of your team and selecting Manage Team. Now, members and guests will have next to their role an X. You just simply click this X to remove the member or guest from the team. With an owner, you have to actually click on the drop down change their status to member, and then you will be able to remove him or her from the team.